Ain't no way somebody made a Godzilla ARG, but for Barney, the dinosaur. Let's go. Sorry, analog horror, my bad. My name is Cheryl. I am the writer of the show Barney and Friends. Okay. The writer. Not not just a writer, the writer. Many know Barney and Friends have pleasant to be pleasant. No, it wasn't really that pleasant, actually. Although we receive a lot of criticism and animosity, I deeply appreciate all the support and love that we get from our fans that grew up loving Barney. Barney was on the Epstein list, for sure, yeah. However, I have to admit the production didn't turn out exactly uh, as what me and the studio had in mind. To elaborate, I constructed these tapes comprised of collected behind-the-scenes footage, relevant footage, and notes illustrating the truth about the show. It started It started with David Joyner. Is that a real guy? It, I mean, I think he's real. It was first actor playing Barney. Uh, he did an incredible job portraying the character that we expected Barney to be. He was portraying Barney? Did he do the voice? However, into the first few episodes, David called quits. Well, Although he enjoyed playing Barney, he said he felt somewhat unnerved, indicating that he didn't feel like he was chosen by it. Indicating? Or is that what he said? Fortunately for us, we had Carrie Stinson. On the contrary, it was on his own expense uh, beyond blah blah blah. Carrie Stinson loved playing Barney, but too much uh, to the point that would- Oh, fucking whatever. That it was fine at first because he would play with the kids in between filming. However, one day he went missing on set. Okay. We found him in the hallway. <laughs> there he is! Fucking wild Barney sighting. We brought him back into the studio and tried to get him out of the suit. The crew who attempted to assist him couldn't believe what they saw. He fused with the suit, didn't he? Please, God, Lord, please. Somehow his flesh morphed and became attached to the suit. There you fucking go. There you go. There you fucking go. We acquired a scanner to display- A scanner to display the suit interior. As it was necessary to measure dimensions for the actors. Okay. No, that's fine, yeah. We utilized it to compare the morph. The morph. Not the red text. Yeah, they got the red text. Warning, the following images are fucked up. This is Carrie before the incident. This is your brain on analog horror. So this is before the incident? He's still got a fucked up head. Oh, I, that's not part of his head. I thought he looked like fucking Frieza for a second with the things coming out of the sides of his head. Dude's jacked. This is Carrie after the incident. Stop it. Shut up. What are you saying? Stop it. That's really goofy. That's really fucking goofy. What are you saying? What? What? I'm sorry, what? Oh, so he like straight up became meat. He became the meat of the, the suit. Okay. I guess. Oh, Carney. Oh, his name is Carney. Oh. Oh, is that his name? <laughs> yeah, no, his name is Carrie. You actually have me believe his name was Carney. Carney Asada. This the terrifying part isn't that Barney was his skin. Oh, it wasn't. It like that's probably the worst part. It's the fact that since then he always stayed in character. No, that's actually not true. What? If he stayed in character the whole time, that's just creepy and weird. The fact that he molded into the suit and became part of the suit... No, but that's the least scary part. There's no trace of his personality or that resembles Mr. Stinson. Carries no more and, by the cre and the creature now goes by a new name. Barney, right? The Barnster. Fuck yeah, the Barnster! Yeah! The fucking Barnster, dog. 
Okay, this is absolutely a thousand percent fucking make, making fun of... Making... Yeah, making fun of the uh, Godzilla analog horror, isn't it? One thousand percent has to be. It has to be. It's such a shitpost. We are saddened by the loss of Carrie. Obviously, Carrie's family was concerned. They demanded to know his whereabouts. He said, we don't know and encouraged them to file a police report. Oh, yeah. Oh, hell yeah, baby. The Barnster. The rest of his paychecks are just deposited to his family. So the motherfucker's still working? You might be wondering, how does the Barnster live in a barn? Please, tell me that. <laughs> Little Ackroyd dancing to the music. Besides his acting and interactions with the crew, he does two things. Eat three-fifths of a complimentary muffin. Stand in the corner of the studio. <laughs> no idea why. I guess that's how he rests. What's that say in the top right? I can't even see. What's that say? I don't even know. Burger CW, I guess. Despite the supernatural revelation about the Barnster, we decided to keep him since he continues to be the strongest asset. We just kept him like a fucking pet. We expect the things to go slightly, uh, to slightly improve, but it got worse. Just the idea that he's getting scripted while he's fusing into the suit is wonderful. Whenever we clock in, we notice par parts of our scripts have been ripped or blotted out. Barney fucking bait. But we didn't rewrite them. This was a small issue since they didn't play the overall themes of each episode, okay? The worst part of the day was the attack on the BJ suit. The BJ suit? Is that what it's really called, genuinely? Sam Carpenter was the actor of Buddy BJ. No fucking way his name was Buddy BJ. Stop it. Was he actually named Buddy BJ? Dude, I'm gonna look it up and I'm gonna fucking put you guys in the baby corner. No fucking way his name is Buddy BJ. That's BJ. See if you can catch this one, Barney. Okay. Boink and a boink. What was that? Oops. Sorry, Riff. <laughs> That's okay. I'll get it. <laughs> okay. Well, hi, Riff. Hey, Riff. What's that you have? It's my new. I guess that's BJ. That's a boy in America? It's just a boy. Sam decided to strike conversation with Barney, which were pleasant for the most part. However, Sam wasn't the most enthusiastic about his suit as he found the temperatures uncomfortable. He shared his complaint about the lack of ventilation. Suddenly, the barnster snapped. The following incident was taped on CCTV! Oh, yes! Yeah! Oh my god! No, watch out! Watch out, BJ! Fucking BJ! No! The Barnster chased Sam down the hallway, cornered him, and bit him in the neck. Holy fuck, he was giving him a BJ! We managed to de-escalate de the situation. Sam instantly adverted the suit and quit his job. The bite of BJ. Look, there it is, despite the bite mark on the BJ suit. Sam didn't sustain any injuries, albeit the suits are not built to have sharp teeth. Wallace Wahlberger was our back. <laughs> okay. Wallace did great, but we were still concerned about Sam. We called and checked up on Sam. He responded saying that he's going to therapy. 
Uh, when we ask if he feels animalistic behaviors, he denies such. <laughs> Meanwhile, we found Wallace sitting in the corner of the set. Marky Mark? Yeah, seriously. Wally Wall. Apparently he met the same fate as Casey. We used the scanner to check if he transformed into the suit. Sadly, it was too late. The following images are fucked up. This wall this is Wallace before the transformation, okay? Just just please, just again, just just let it be the fucking red blot. <laughs> I think I'm gonna be sick. Ah It's red! It's meat! Meet BJ. No! That's amazing. I fucking love this a ton. We don't. A parody of the man in the suit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It really is. Okay. No, we should have. We should definitely have way more parodies of fucking analog horrors, whether they're shitty or not. Oh my goodness, that is so fucking funny. The Barnster Episode 3 upcoming. In two hours? Holy shit. In two fucking hours? I don't know if I'm going to be here. We need to see it. I know, but I don't know if I'm going to be here. Uh, I'm really hungry. Here, you guys want to... Goose, we got to. We got to. Guys, here. The, I gave you the link. Go into the chat if, if you have a YouTube account. And just, like, say some shit. <laughs> I want to see... Hi, Goose Boost. There's Satan's Bar. Everybody, go into the, go into the little live chat right now. What the fuck? I don't know. Just I don't know. Say I'm a uh, this this series makes me fucking sick. It's disgusting. One of the most sickening fucking series I've ever seen. This should be canceled. Stop making this. These are horrible. My mother died watching it last night. I used to poop my diaper to Barney back in the twenties. In my twenties, this series is sick. Wow. Penis. She barned on my stir till I BJ. This is seriously some of the coolest shit. It's so terrifying. What makes it all the more unsettling is its characters you know, too. <laughs> Why does that sound familiar? It's pretty cool, though. I'm not going to lie. This has been an interesting experience. Time for more meds. <laughs> this is kind of giving Pibby vibes. <laughs> Oh, man. I lost my virginity to the series. Was that the BJ of 87? This is so fucked up. My grandma died watching. My grandpa died. This is what real horror is. No jump scare. Just Barnster. <laughs> oh, and Barnster barned all over the place and said redacted. He's on the Epstein list. This is awesome. <laughs> 